I was going to say, hey guys, welcome to the, an SIE live or something, but no, welcome to the Studying Brew. That's right. It's the Studying Brew. It's episode 987. And we, me, I am coming at you with the serious. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. The serious six. That's right. I am going to have six different questions from six different exams. We are going to do a little bit a content, but we are going to do a whole lot of techniques and that's what we're going to do. But, you know, like we always like to do, it's the end of the week. That's right. It's the end of the week. Is it the end of the week? It is the end of the week. This week went by so fast, right? And honestly, that's probably what you guys might be thinking as well. 2024 has gone by so fast. It's already the middle of October already the middle of October. So if you haven't started working on that plan that you had set out to do at the beginning of the year, now is the time. If you are a procrastinator, this is your time to shine. That's right. It's your time to shine because we're at the end of the year. And look, the weekend is coming. The weekend is full of distractions. Halloween parties are among us, right? Costume parties are among us. But you know what? Do yourself a favor and knock out some studying before the party starts, before it gets crazy. I know some of you that have kids, you're going crazy with practices, with weekend practices and all that stuff, right? Knock out some studying before. Knock out some studying while they're at practice and you know, the coaches don't want us there anyways, right? <laughs> the coaches don't want, want us there putting in our two cents. So take some quizzes. Listen to some audios, listen to the videos. Oh, wait, what? Audios. That's right. Our audios are now on Spotify. They are being uploaded daily. Andy is working diligently at getting our audios up there. So you guys can uh, join those through your Patreon membership. Oh my gosh, guys, we have so much fun stuff happening. But we will not rest until all of you have your past notices. So guys, just keep working, keep going, keep, keep pushing. And you will meet your goals. You will get it done. Ignore the distractions, work on you, work on your goals. Everything you want is just on the other side of these past notices, just on the other side of these past notices. I'm going to share my screen. Let's go. All right. We are going to do, I am going to do, I am going to do the quick advertisement get you through here. I'm going to post some links in the chat. Boom, 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 boom. Right. I got some links in the chat. I've got our link tree up there, which is if you guys click on that QR code, it'll take you right there. I even got a link to our Amazon store, all of the fun little things that I like to use um, that I use uh, here at my desk, what I use on the road, what I use to study. Those are those are all the things that I like. I think I even got some fidget toys in there. And then also I put in there our link to Spotify and it is a free app. So you guys can download that app for free and you guys can access our videos when you guys are joining through the Patreon on our membership. But guys, look, check out what we have in our study plans, our tried and true study plans. We've got our course videos. We've got our live sessions. We've got live sessions for each exam specifically. And then we have these amazing exam mastery sessions for our all members. It's just a place for all of us to get together and have fun, talk about mastering test taking skills, talk about mastering study preps while you're along on this journey, right? It's super fun. We've got eBooks do, 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 for the SIE, the six and 63. We've got courses for the 26 guys. If you want to get in on small group tutoring and get those books for free, all you need to do is join that hundred dollar tier. You can change your membership at any time. Guys, the R65 is coming this fall. I made that commitment. It is coming. I've been working on it diligently. Right. And then we have... <laughs> Then we have our Kona community. It is our message board. It is a great place to be. Look, I know out there, social media can be really negative, can be really just, it's distracting, right? But if you guys get on our message board, it is a place for all of you, all of us to connect. 
right? We can study together. We can lift each other up. We can, you know, just do a lot of positive mental attitude over there, support one another, post your questions. You could text me directly. Um, we can, we can work out some questions over there. Um, actually tomorrow in the SIE live, what I'm actually doing is taking some of the questions that were posted over through the week. And we are literally, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing on the SIE live tomorrow for our members is that we're just going to answer questions that were on the discord. That's it. Maybe that's what I'm going to do every Friday for the SIE members. I don't know, but you know what? There was, um, some questions posted. So we're going to go hash those out. It's going to be fun. Um, you guys can post questions. You can answer questions I'm on there. What? Yes. Answering questions is a form of studying. Maybe you're seeing a technique that the person who posted the question didn't see. Add your two cents in there. It it will help you, I promise. Right? And then, like I said, you guys can text me. Um, our phone number to reach a live person most of the time is 951-290-3077. If Andy doesn't answer, that's because he is probably busy, but leave a voicemail or text that line. He will get back to you at his earliest convenience. Our Instagram is up there. All of our links are up there. The QR code to get to our link tree and all that, plus the links in the chat, join us. Now, tomorrow I mentioned we are doing the SIE Live um, that is our first session of the day. We are going to hash out all those questions that were, well, most of those questions that were posted on that message board it starts at 930 Pacific. And then right after that is the exam mastery for all members. I'm going to actually open up a live quiz and we are going to practice those techniques. We talk so much about, we're going to practice that live. You, our members are actually going to participate in the chat and let us know what you're seeing, what you're thinking, your connections, all that stuff. It is so fun. And you know what? I actually get some content to teach in the live sessions of, through those members, through those uh, live sessions as well. So it's going to be fun, right? That's at 11 a.m. Pacific. Make sure you guys are checking your time zones it's right there on the screen. Make sure you guys join our calendar. When you guys join our calendar right here, it actually puts it on your calendar and puts it in the time zone that you're in. So that is super cool. Now, like I mentioned, Andy has been working diligently behind the scenes to put up the audios of our course videos up on Spotify. How convenient is that? Isn't that so awesome? Like you could literally now through your Patreon membership, click on member, membership, scroll down to where it says link to Spotify. And you guys can listen to the audios on the road. Like if you're in Southern California, especially, you know traffic, right? You know traffic. What better to turn your car into the Kona University and just listen to audios, right? We've had truck drivers do this. Look, some people are like, well, Brandy, I don't really, I can't really learn on audios. Look, and when there is, a, when there's a will, there's a way. If that's the only time you can study, then you know what? Do it. Sometimes people put it on their headphones or their AirPods or whatever, and they're cooking dinner. They're at the gym, right? Listening to it. They're there. It's just, it's just another way to kind of get that information. Somebody in the chat just says she listens to part of once a day via Patreon. I'm telling you, maybe it was inconvenient for you to get there. Now we are making it super convenient for you to listen to it. And I believe Andy even told me that like it automatically puts little chapters inside there. You can listen to me on two times speed. You can listen to me on 0.5 speed, whatever you want. Oh guys, it's so fun. All right. Let's do this, right? Let's do the serious six. Tonight is the night where I have six questions. It covers the ground of all six exams that we provide for and then some, especially guys, if you're studying for the SIE, you're getting a little bit of everything anyways. Um, I, I said this to the SIEers the other day. You guys know like when you go on to your Spotify, no, we are not sponsored by Spotify, but you're going on to your music streaming service that you that you have and you, you know, randomly hear a song by an artist and you're like, man, that sounds pretty good. I wonder what else they have. And then you go over to that artist's page and every artist has the essentials playlist. 
it's a little tidbit of all of their hits from their various albums. So you're getting the surface of the artist's catalog, just the surface, not every song that they that they sang, but you're getting a little bit of it. That's exactly what the SIE is. It's a collection of the the hits, if you will, of each exam right there in one 85 question exam. <laughs> so when you're studying for the SIE, it, I would, if I was you, I would be listening into all these questions, right? I don't tell you guys the where I'm pulling these from anymore because it's kind of, how do I want to say? It, it kind of doesn't really matter because if you guys are looking at how I'm focusing on the words and focusing on the key connections, focusing in on the techniques, it really doesn't matter which exam I'm talking about anyways. The only thing is, is that tonight you might be studying the 26 and go, Ooh, that's on the 26. That's the only difference. But the concept is the same, no matter what exam you're studying, even if you're studying for an exam, that's not even one of the FINRA or NASA exams where like you could be studying for the MLO, you could be studying for another professional exam. And guess what? The concepts that we teach here, you can apply to any, any any multiple choice exam. This is not like the ins and outs of FINRA only. No, 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 no. Every multiple, every multiple choice professional level exam has these techniques and has, has it's, it's built into the, the way they write the questions. It's crazy how this happens, right? And then all you need to do is just add in the content that you're studying for the exam you're taking. My sister is actually studying for her administrative um, credential in, in school. And she's like, dude, I'm just applying these techniques. And, you know, I haven't really studied. I'm just messing around with it right now, just to see what I need to focus on. She's like, I already scored a 72%. And all I'm doing is applying common sense and these techniques, 72% on her practice exams. And she hasn't even studied for this license yet. Isn't that crazy? You two can do that. So let's get into it. It's just a little bit of content, a whole lot of techniques and definitely strategies. All right, let's go. Let's go dive in. Do, 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 do. All right, real quick before I, I'm going to do something real quick. Do, 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 do. Just in case he wants to. All right, let's go ahead. So I have shelf registration sales initial public offering sales, sales of shares in the secondary market and additional issues. So one of the things that I try to do first before I start thinking and overthinking and second guessing is I go, okay, look, this ends in sales and that ends in sales. C is the longest. You're right. This is the longest. You know what I noticed though? If you, if, this is what I've noticed over the few years of doing this is that when I'm looking at trying to find like a pattern or something like this, the one that's usually similar or opposite is usually the one that is stronger than either the one that's longest or the one that's different. I don't know why that is, but I'm going to tell you that this thing, this idea right here of similar or opposite is very, very common, very common. It's in the majority of the quiz questions that I see, right? Just this technique. So I'm going to focus there because you're right. D is different as well. And I'm going to focus there. And I don't like, maybe I've heard, I, I've heard of IPOs, right? I'm in financial services, right? I catch wind of, oh, this company's going public, whatever. So going public, right? I'm just going to write that here. Going public. I've heard that in the news, right? Okay. So let's look at the question. And the question says, the requirement for a supplemental prospectus to be filed before each sale is applicable Applicable to, now let's think about this for a second. If I'm focusing in on A and B, and I'm, and, and, ooh, that, those are good. That's a good connection in the chat. I'll tell you guys in a second. And, and I'm going with, B is initial, which is first, I probably won't be using a 
supplemental, whatever that is, prospectus on the first go round. So I'm probably going to need that for the shelf registration. Now, um, I will tell you if you're if you're a member, how I've taught it and what Tim said in the chat is that shelf registration means I put some on the shelf to use later. So I'm registering these shares, but I'm putting some of these shares on the shelf to use later, knowing that I will be releasing them to the public. And that's why it's just a supplemental prospectus and not a full prospectus. Boom. That's a technique with a little bit of content, a technique with a little bit of content. We already knew the answer was A before we add, we sprinkled in that surface level content. That very simple connection. All right, now I have bearish on LMN stock. Is bearish on the call price, but bullish on the stock? Okay, bullish on the LMN stock or wants LMN stock to remain fixed at the current price. So I have bearish or bullish. These are the two opposites, right? Now, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of content right now where bear is going down and bulls are going up, right? And, and if we're bullish on stock, we think the price is going to go up, right? Because that's what bulls do when they when they fight, they throw you up. If I'm bearish on stock, I believe the price is going down because bears pull you down. That's it. That's all. An investor who is long an LMN equity call options is who is long. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now look, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and give you guys some free Kona content. Okay. You guys ready? Some free, simple Kona content. Long call equals buy the right to buy stock. So I'm bullish. And I could go further. I could say short calls or sell to sell stock bearish, long puts or, or buy to sell stock bear. I could do all that, but we're talking about the long call. So long call is buy the right to buy stock bullish. I'm on a long call. I'm bullish. Do you guys see how simple memorizing a simple line? Boom. Connects you. I already knew I'm either bearish or bullish. I knew I was bearish or bullish. Long call by the right to buy stock bullish. But Brandy, can you explain that? No. No, I can't. I mean, join our member sessions and I do explain it. <laughs> I was all, what would Andy do right now? He would plug, right? Um, but no, seriously, join our membership and you, you can get the details on that. But but look at how simple that was. Simple click, click, click. All right. That's a lot right there, right? That's a lot. A lot of words going on. I really don't want to read C because look at how long C is. Ah, but check this out. C is the only one with a number in it. C is the only one with an answer in it. And I mean, with the number in it and check this out. C is the only one with the answer in it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Watch. Uh huh. And for those of you who want that question, right? Uh, a married couple have equal 50% uh, ownership interest in tenants in common. If one party to the account dies, what happens to the shares in the other account? Half or 50% of the shares would belong to the remaining party, and the balance would be distributed to the estate of the deceased party. The problem with this question, I'm going to tell you guys the problem with this question. The, the words are right, but like, um, it doesn't really illustrate the point that clearly because, you know, to be honest with you, it, you're like, yeah, married couple, they usually have 50, 50 split. You know what I mean? Like it's not, but don't overthink it. Just connect it and roll on. All right. Don't laugh, but I will tell you this. 
I just clicked on this one because it was longer. Fixed income payments become more valuable. Employment would rise. Interest rates would rise. Gold prices would rise. There's a couple of things. There's a couple of techniques in this one. One, just like what Zach Sims said earlier, this is the longest, right? There's not anything that has, oh, there is a dash in fixed income, isn't there? Um, employment. Why am I talking about employment? I'm I'm in financial services. Uh, interest rates. I don't work for the Fed. And gold prices. I don't, I'm not a 49er. Get it? Because 49ers, they don't for gold. Anyways, uh, but look at the question. The U.S. economy were to enter a deflationary period, which of the following would likely occur? Look, I didn't even read all that. I know not very many things are going to rise if I'm deflating, right? If I'm deflating, I don't know why those would all increase. But, and and there's a whole long thing about this. If everything's deflate, de if prices are lowering, yeah, I'm not into commodities. If If prices are lowering, and I'm on a fixed income, suddenly I can afford more. That's really what the basis of the question is. All right. Remember I said tonight is a little, little bit of content. All right. Next. Um, a monetary fine. Suspension. A barring. Or jail sentence. B has capitals. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. B does have capitals. But look, 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 look. Here's the other thing. Fines sound like something we would talk about. Suspensions sound like something we would talk about. Barring from the industry, something we would talk about. But sending somebody to jail? I don't, I don't, I don't think we can send anybody to jail, right? So look, not a sanction, accept question. Look, somebody in the chat wrote an accept question before we even got there. And that's exactly it. Right? All right. All right. Uh, 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 uh. I'm all, let me see what was going on in this question. What was going on in this question? Um, the common stock attached to a rights offering, initial public offering, an offering to the employees, or an if issue of shares by a public company is already listed. So I went rights offering, already listed, to the employees and an IPO. Okay. So to the employees is very specific, right? An IPO, we already said was the first. A rights offering is, again, it's specific and then already listed, right? So it's after IPO, I guess. I guess we could say after an IPO. So the question says, which of the following choices would best describe a follow-on? A follow-on. Well, there has to be a first to follow, right? So this would be after the first. So I'm gonna go with already listed. There you go. Already listed. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Follow on already listed. Do you guys see how we're matching? That was it. Do you guys see how we're matching concepts? We're, we're not really even talking about content. I mean, I could go into detail about what a follow on offering is, or I could just look at the words follow, already listed. Follow, already listed. We can't follow on an initial. We follow the initial, which means it's already there, right? 
every single one of these, besides the options one, every single one of these had basis. I was going to say basis in reality as if securities are fake. You know what I'm saying? As if securities are fake, I was going to say have basis in reality. But the re but the reality is, is that a lot of your your questions can simply be answered by your real world knowledge. Knowledge you already carry with you. Common sense that you already have. What comes after initial? Follows. Initial? Follows. That's it. So when you guys are looking at your quiz questions and you guys get stuck, right? If you don't know an answer right away, like if you don't, if you look at it, you're like, ooh, this is going, this is, oof, what is this? Right? Oof, what is this? Stop focusing on what you know or don't know about the topic or the content and instead go, you know what? Let that go for a second. I'm going to focus on the words in front of me and I'm going to apply what I know about initial versus following. First versus after. That's it. And we were able to get the question right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to bid you goodbye for the weekend. We will be back on Monday. Andy will be back on Monday for the Study and Brew members. We will see you tomorrow. We will see you Sunday night. Oh, I've got something amazing planned for a Sunday night. It's all about suitability. Hey, if you want to join in on our membership, make sure you click on the links in the chat. Make sure you click on the links in whatever thing you're watching this on. right? And you know what? Join us, join us on, uh, join us Friday, join us on Sunday, and we will see you guys on Monday. Uh, stay safe out there and wash your hands. Don't touch your face and don't touch your friend's face. I don't say it as fast as Andy guys. I hope you all have an amazing weekend and we will see you guys next time.